So this weekend I went to a really big estate sale. It actually started on Thursday and I went Thursday, Friday, and then again on Sunday for half price. And this was the second part of a two series estate sale. The first estate sale was held on December 8th and I went to that and it was mostly sewing stuff. So I didn't buy a whole lot of stuff, but my mother did. She loves to sew. And so she went crazy there. But this weekend, it was all the stuff that was in the house. So come along with me and let's shop this estate sale. The couple that lived here had quite an array of beautiful items that they'd been collecting for years, and she is quite a talented seamstress. I almost bought those three needle points right there for $12 each, but I decided to hold off and save my money till I looked at everything, because there's a lot here. This beautiful thing is known as a huswife, a small case containing scissors, thread, and needles, and other sewing things. My mother ended up buying this beautiful crazy quilt pillow, but not for $40. She waited till half off day and got it for $20. I had seen in the photographs for the estate sale this wicker mannequin and I kind of had my heart set on it, but it was too expensive. I decided to pet. I thought that these Victorian furnishings were absolutely gorgeous. My mother ended up buying this little chair here and I ended up buying this one here. It was $45, but I got it half price. I just love these little pine needle cups and saucers. I bought one for $8, and this pine needle basket is so adorable. I got that one for $15. My mom ended up buying this guy for $40. The prices were high at this estate sale, but the items were worth a lot more than what they were asking. This is a beautifully embroidered fireplace screen. There were so many beautiful blue and white dishes there. I really liked the teapot right there with the two cups and the flow blue. My mother ended up purchasing this press back oak rocking chair with the tapestry for $48 and this John McLaughlin house painting for $200. It's only a block away from my parents' house, and it's a beautiful museum. It was built by Dr. John McLaughlin, who is known as the Father of Oregon. I was quite intrigued by these forks, but I didn't buy them on the first day. But I did go back and buy them on the second day and was tickled to find out they're worth quite a bit of money. I did end up buying this picture frame, but I didn't realize it was so damaged until I got it home. The lady of the house is named Marge, and she has moved to a retirement facility. But she was an excellent seamstress, and she did Civil War reenactments. So I assume she took these original beautiful bonnets and then patterned her reenactments after them. This black one looks very funereal or gothic to me.
Hey, peace. I should have bought this rattan shell for $40. Darn. These little things are called miser purses, and they were used by both women and men, typically in the 19th century. A miser's purse is a long tube made of purse or netting silk, often crocheted or knitted, with or without beads. How it works is a short slit in the midsection of the fabric let the carrier drop coins or other small objects into either end of the tube and it will be closed off by moving two rings or sliders, gathering the fabric snugly around the contents. I bought this beautiful little brass frame for $5. This is a cute little crisscross corner shelf, but the top part of it is broken, unfortunately. I thought that these lion candelabras were beautiful. I ended up picking both of them up. I also purchased this beautiful floral painting for $15. I thought these little mice were so darling on the mushrooms, I couldn't pass them up. This dress would look so beautiful either hanging on a wall or on a mannequin. Marge had massive amounts of vintage clothing. These chairs were only $15 each. That's a pretty good price. I purchased a couple of these planters, the middle one and the one on the right, on half price day. I bought two of those blue baskets for half price, so they were $3 each. This poor little planter seen better days. I ended up purchasing this Bennett Welsh pottery crock along with the salt and pepper shakers and a plate which now I think might have been a lid to the crock. I call this room the Civil War room as the gentleman of the house was a collector of Civil War items. This room had a lot of display cases. I probably should have thought about that for my antique space, but I was just so overwhelmed and absorbed into all the stuff, I just, it slipped my mind. I did end up purchasing that cast iron sconce for $12 and the other one right up there on the top. Look at all those display cases.
these little western chaps for darling. My friend who has a western theme in her house would probably love these. I ended up purchasing that picture and another one on half price day, so I paid $20 for both. When I got back on Sunday, on Half Price Day, somebody had purchased these Civil War tin types. They were asking $800 for. I wonder if they bought them full price or on Half Price Sunday. The lady working the estate sale said that she thought these might be Italian. They were like little tiny mosaics. They were so beautiful. If you know what they are, maybe you could let me know in the comments. I would love to know. This is called a chantelaine. It's a little purse that was clipped onto a belt for hands-free convenience that women wore in the Victorian era. They had little chains mounted to it that had useful household items attached, such as scissors, thimbles, watches, keys, and smelling salts. This one was made for glasses. This one has quite an array of little items on there. There's even a little pad with paper in it. This is a piece of mourning jewelry that is carved from the gutta percha tree. It was used to make mourning jewelry because it was dark in color and could be easily molded into beads or other shapes. It is very plasticky, in fact it went out of use when the synthetic plastics were invented like Bakelite. This is a piece of hair art that is made from human hair. They did this often to remember their loved ones after they had passed on. bought these adorable little salt spoons on half price day for five dollars. So here's my haul. I'm going to go ahead and start off with these two beautiful pictures. They're actually embroidered on top of actually painted fabric and or printed fabric. And they are of the Paris fashions from 1848 and 1849. And they were, I got these on the half price day. So they were $20 each on sale for $10. So I spent $20 on the, both of these. This picture I got on half price day. It was uh, $10, but I got it for five. And the picture wasn't something I was crazy about. It was the actual picture frame that I really like. It's really hard to find beautiful wood frames. So that was, that was a score. I bought this little bag of coasters for $2. But the reason that I bought it is because it had these two beautiful pine needle coasters. And I figured $2 for these was worth getting all the rest of them. So this was the one I got the very first sale because it was considered mostly sewing paraphernalia. And it's called a huswife or a housewife. And this was $48 and it's old. 
and it actually has a place for you to put it's it's a little sewing kit place for you to put your needles and thimbles and stuff like that and I coveted this I just thought it was so beautiful and so it was worth the price this is one of the items that I got on half price day half of eighteen nine dollars Majolica wear pitcher I got this one on half price day as well it was thirty dollars for the blue onion teapot I got it for 15 and I have just recently inherited a whole bunch of blue onion dishes and so I have the little teacups here and I thought if I ever wanted to have tea I don't have a tea pot that works with those so now I do this I got for two dollars it's a little sugar container but one of the reasons that I got it was because the spoon was so cute I just couldn't take it and it was made by Gladys Armstrong in 1961. So I think, I think Gladys Armstrong might have been a relative of the person who the, the estate sale is for because this painting that I got for $15 is also is painted by a G. Armstrong. And I looked it up and I found other artists Armstrong, but it, I can tell by the signature and the the paint that it's not the same person. I also bought this little tree of life for $14 with these are actual flowers. I just thought they were so pretty and I really like that boho theme. I also purchased these little shelves. Uh, they were $15 each, but I got them on half price day. So $7.50 each. I picked up these sconces. They're cast iron and they have an eagle in them. The gentleman of the house well also the lady of the house at this estate sale were civil war collectors so this was in the civil war room i just thought they were beautiful and they were twelve dollars each i found these really neat candelabras with lions on them they were twenty dollars each so i did pay up for those but i can see online that they're worth anywhere from like forty five dollars to ninety five dollars I found this little tea set. It was on half price day. So the creamer was half of $8, so $4. The sugar was also half of $8, so $4. And the little teapot was half of $20, so $10. And I just thought they were adorable. I found a butterfly lucite plate for $8, but it was half price at $4. I got this little print of the John McLaughlin house, which is down the street from my parents' house. It's a uh, museum. Dr. John McLaughlin was one of the founders of Oregon City. I got some fun little pamphlets on images from the 1860s, 1840s, 1850s, and they were all written by Marge Harding, who was the lady of the house. She was a Civil War reenactment. She did uh, costuming for that, and she collected, you, you saw it probably earlier in the video, she had so much, so much old clothing. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. But just got a few uh, little pamphlets that I can read about from my local area. Very fun. Found this Bennett Welsh crock for $20. Bennett Welsh is a local ceramicist. Uh, he was around, he died in 1988. He was around from the 1950s through the 70s and 80s. He does his popular work. He did, he worked, uh, he was actually owned for a while, the Pacific Stoneware company. These little salt and peppers were by him as well, $12 each. And the Bennett Welsh plate for $8. I thought this little pine needle basket was adorable for $15. You can tell it's old. These are worth about, I would say, oh, it's got a little pine cone on the top. It's just so cute. They're worth about, I'd say like $40, $50. Also got this little pine needle cup and saucer. That was $8. I thought these were super fun. It's uh, three pieces for $20. These little painted mushrooms with the mice on them. Very kitsch. If nobody buys them, my daughter would probably love them. She's really into the whole mushroom theme lately. Just for a dollar, this little painted wooden spoon with a sunflower. I thought it was very precious. For a boho theme, I thought it would be fun to have these little um, coasters, multicolored coasters. There's also nap napkin rings that go with that. 
Those were a dollar each. I've got some wooden napkin rings as well. Those are nice. I got this little purse on half price day for $6. And it's like a crochet or macrame look to it. I thought it was just darling. And this little purse for $2. I should put it with my Valentine's Day stuff. And this is a little pin. I got it for $4. It's crocheted and there's a little opening in there. I don't know what you put in there. Maybe a flower and wear it. Something cute like that. I thought this was very pretty. It's a frame of some sort. I thought at first it was for a mirror that had broken. But upon further examination, it says etched in the back very, very lightly. You can barely see it. It said died aged 14 and it has a name. So it could have been a picture of someone who had passed or it could have been one of those hair um, hair art things from their hair. I don't know. But I thought what I would do with it, it was $5, is I've been at embroidering, so I thought I'd make a little embroidery and put it in here or paint a little picture, a little floral picture or something. I thought that would be, it's a pretty little frame. I found these little, little tiny gold salt spoons for salts. And the original packages said that it was uh, $24, but then it was $10 and I got a half price for $5 for all these little spoons. And I just think they're adorable. I got this little tiny glass candle abra for $4 with its little tiny candles. I just thought they were so cute. I got this little angel too and she was $2. I got a couple glass bottles because I collect these for $2 each. Little Christmas ornaments of a teapot and a teacup and saucer. They were 50 cents each. Got out an Oregon Myrtle Wood nut bowl. It doesn't have its instruments in it, but it was only $3. I thought these forks were fascinating. Beautiful inlay. They were $4 each. I got three of them. And then this little copper colander for $8. I bought this beautiful pillow for $12. And I just thought it was gorgeous. Frames seem to be expensive. And I've been looking for frames to frame some of my stuff. And I just can't find a beautiful old frame. And these, this one was $9. This one was $6. I didn't realize it was in such bad shape, but I think what I might do is try to repair it by pressing like paper clay into it and getting an imprint. When that dries, I can press paper clay into that and then kind of patch it up and then paint it gold. And that might work and it might not. Who knows? It was only $6. And if not, you can always just paint it. I could pry off that molding, but it's so beautiful. I wouldn't want to do that. This little frame, it has an original price tag of $45 on it, and I got it for $9. And this little frame for $5. I ended up putting the John McLaughlin House print inside of it, and I think it looks lovely. And this frame, a crisscross frame for $8, it's an odd shape. So I don't know if I will sell it or if I'll try to put something in it maybe a tapestry or something. I got these tiny little frames for a dollar each. They're plastic, but I just thought they were really pretty. I could put one of those little embroideries I've been working on in there. Here's some of the jewelry that I bought at that sale. This is a little amethyst cross that I got for $20. This little cross was $8 crucifix. I think it has pearl and garnet in it. I'm not sure what the stone is on this bracelet. It was $28. This little earring and necklace set was on half price day. So it was, you know, $3 and $2. So $5 for the set. I just thought it was pretty. And these, I believe, are costume earrings for $3. They could be black onyx. I got this little shell necklace for a dollar because I was wishing I had a shell necklace the other day and I saw it for a dollar. So I got it. Who knows if I'll ever use it, but it's kind of fun. Here is the new chair that I got for half of $45. And I also got that hat stand, which was $8. I got it for half of that, so $4. Althea is checking out the new items. 
And there's those two blue baskets that I got for $6 for the two. Well, that's my haul. I hope you liked my video. And if you did like my video, maybe you could give it a like and a thumbs up. And if you like this content, maybe you could subscribe to my channel. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, I appreciate you so very, very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.